Yeah, I'm good to go. Everyone good? So Nardine, uh, that was that was a really important win for you coming off back to back losses, get back in the win column. Just did you feel any added pressure coming in this fight that you really needed the win? <laughs> um not really not really uh not really a pressure. Like for sure a little bit pressure, but the, the pressure was at the right place for me to perform tonight. Uh so yeah, I'm pretty happy with the, with the outcome. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy with the, with the story. Yeah, and you didn't have a whole lot of time to prepare for this specific opponent. Uh, what did you do in the short window you had to prepare and how did the fight go compared to your expectations? Uh, yeah, I was uh, ready for uh, a guy who, like an orthodox, uh, going forward like a bull, uh, completely different uh, fighter. So uh, yeah, I had to make some uh, quick adjustments. Uh, so I uh, adopted for the, for the switching stands uh, to make him confused and uh, to make him think a lot and uh, to, to, to have the proper time to, uh, to see the openings and uh, be able to, uh, to connect. And once uh, I saw it, then I seized the opportunity every time I saw the weakness. And, uh, yeah. So did it play out pretty much how you thought it would? Uh, yeah, yeah. We, we, uh, we planned uh, to use my, my uh, right leg uh, a lot. Uh, yeah, and, uh, I did it, I did it, I did it again. Uh, I wanted to, I wanted uh, to, to finish him, but he was uh, very tough. So he talked it. So yeah, uh, that's what I wanted to do. Where does uh, a win over Prepolek put you in the division? Just because with the fact that he made his debut, he's not a huge name, and it, this is still a big win for you, though, because it, it snapped the no. skin. Where does it put you? No, it's, it's not. It's not. It's not. A, it's not a big win for me. Even if he's a, he's a tough fighter, and uh, he will prove. He will prove it in the, in the future. He's a he's very like a very good fighter. You know? He's legit. Uh, but yeah, for me at this moment, no, he's not. He's not a huge win. But uh, I had to I had to win anyway and to put myself back in the in the win streak. And uh, yeah, that's it. So he put me like I think. Uh, yeah, it's it's a win. He kept me active. And uh, yeah, to the next. Do you think you needed this win to keep your job in the UFC? Oh yeah, definitely. Uh, it's like. A, no, I had a two accidental uh, fight. You know what I mean, uh, I called it this way because I, I knew I, I should have win. But anyway, I, loss is a loss. But uh, yeah, for sure, it's two loss in a row. Uh, we have seen in the past that the UFC doesn't, doesn't give some time uh, to the third chances. You know what I mean? So I think I behaved well with them. I never refused a fight. I'm always, I always show up show in, in shape. I never swear. Like, I think I have a pretty much a good attitude as a fighter, so that's why they, they, uh, they like me and they give, give, give me another opportunity. Nordine, uh, you were supposed to fight CR, but yes. now you're fighting Kyle. Was it? Did you feel the crowd was a little more split since you were you know, facing a Canadian instead of kind of defending him? Yeah, but it was uh, two Canadians on the, on the card facing each other. I you know we're in the territory of Canada. Uh, you no, know, it's kind of, it's not awkward, you no know, fight is fight. But uh, yeah, it would have been very cool that he would be an American and against a uh, Canadian, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, uh, it's a fight. I uh, hope uh, we, we put on the performance tonight. Uh, he's a tough kid, uh, two strikers. So I hope uh, I hope they, they, they like the fight and uh, they will be watching. Do you want to get right back in there? Oh, yeah, for sure. Uh, now I just have my, my foot a bit bruised because I over over do it some kicks. Uh, but yeah, as soon as I'm healthy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to notify at the UFC. I'm going to tell, tell them that I, I'm good to go because uh, I'm gonna turn uh, 38 in uh, June, so yeah, I'm not getting any younger. So if I want to leave my mark in the game and uh, climb the stairs into the, the, the top fighters, so yeah, I have to, I have to, to move on and uh, yeah, having a fight that I can quit. I'm very interested on the Abu Dhabi card on the 7th of September, so let's see. We can have a, a thought, let's see if the plan fits. Yeah, but I'm definitely up to it. Hey, Nardine, um, obviously one of the interesting things about having a card here in Eastern Canada is you got a lot of... You train with TriStar for this? Uh, yeah, I train, uh, I've trained with uh, Tagamotai okay. at first. Uh, I did my early camp there, most of my camp. And uh, yeah, I came back uh, I came back in Canada uh, to finish with my uh, head coach and, uh, and the coach I have here. And all my partners to finish up, finishing up and uh, build a strategy. And so uh, I think I made, uh, made the right decision because uh, I was in Thailand, I threw a lot of kicks mm -hmm. and uh, come back to uh, to Canada, Trustor. I had to make a very quick adjustment with the, you know, it, it took like a, some very professional to do this and for us as the right man to do, to do so. 
so yeah, we, we went through the, this uh, struggle and then we, uh, we come back with the opportunity. What's the vibe like when you have so many of your training partners all competing under one roof one night? What's that environment like? But honestly, it's, a, it's just a personal view. Uh, I prefer uh, being alone from the gym, uh, fighting on the couch, because you know, uh, the coaches and the partners, they split it uh, into the room. I mean, especially Firas is the main guy. We always want, we all want his attention, you know what I mean? Yeah, so you see tonight it's like his brother is fighting now. So yeah, he has to care just right after me, then another one, and another one. So yeah, honestly, because I have Firas always in my corner, I prefer having him just for me, you know what I mean? But yeah. Do you That's think good. your performance would have been even better um, if the focus was on you and Frost wasn't calling a bunch of other uh, people? I don't know. Frost gave me the, the proper attention. Uh, uh, no, I don't, I don't think it would have been better. But it's, it's a very good question. But um, no, in this case, uh, no, it, would have, it wouldn't have been better because, uh, yeah, it, it gave me whatever I needed. So I'm very happy with Frost. I was just looking over the statistics for the fight and you really ran away with it in the third. Where did that perhaps second win come from or what changed that you were able to be so much more commanding in that third round? Um, oh, it's, the, it's just it's, uh, the command of my coach, of Firas, he said, uh, he said, okay, uh, I just, me, I just obey, you know, at some point, you know, you're in the zone, and, uh, I just believe in my coach. So he told me, uh, I want you to show me uh, your footwork for, uh, for one minute and a half, two minutes. And then you start to uh, to fire. So that's what I did, and he me, because he lost two two uh, two runs in a row. So he wanted to, you know, to do to something happen, you know, by pride. And me I had to to do some footwork. So for sure, he was coming forward. I was in the footwork, no intention to strike back. So yeah, I was pushing back, you know, on my back and that. And then I said, okay, it's enough to to, to strike because he's, you know, he's uh, like uh, earning like uh, you know the the I don't know. Say that, uh, yeah, you know, it was taking over me, you know what I mean? So, yeah, I had to man up and uh, okay, now finish. Good work, okay, good. Perfect. Thanks, Ernie. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay, Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you.